Genesis chapter 43. But the scarcity of food was severe in the land. And it came to be when they had eaten up the grain which they had brought from Mitzrayim, that their father said to them, Go back, buy us a little food. But Yehuda spoke to him, saying, The man vehemently warned us, saying, You do not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you let our brother go with us, we go down and buy you food. But if you do not let him go, we do not go down, because the man said to us, You do not see my face unless your brother is with you. And Israel said, Why did you do evil to me to inform the man that you still had another brother? And they said, The man kept asking about us and our relatives, saying, Is your father still alive? Have you another brother? And we informed him according to these words. How could we know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Yehuda said to Israel, his father, Send the boy with me, and let us arise and go and live and not die, both we and you and also our little ones. I myself shall stand guarantee for him. For my hand you are to require him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him before you, then let me bear the blame forever. For if we had not delayed truly by now, we could have returned the second time. And their father Israel said to them, If so, then do this. Take some of the best fruit of the land in your vessels and bring a present down for the man, a little balm and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almonds. And take double silver in your hand, and take back in your hand the silver that was returned in the mouth of your sacks. It could have been a mistake. And take your brother and arise, go back to the man. And El Shaddai give to you compassion before the man, so that he shall release your other brother in Benjamin. And I, if I am bereaved, I am bereaved. And the men took that present in Benjamin, and they took double the amount of silver in their hand, and arose and went down to Mitzrayim, and stood before Yosef. And Yosef saw Benjamin with them, and said to the one over his house, Bring the men home, and make a great slaughter, and prepare for these men are to eat with me at noon. And the man did as Yosef said, and the man brought the man brought the men into Joseph's house, and the men were afraid because they were brought into Joseph's house, and they said, "Is it because of the silver which was put back in our sacks the first time that we are brought in to throw himself upon us and fall upon us to take us as slaves, our donkeys too?" So they came near to the man over the house of Joseph. And spoke to him at the door of the house, and said, O oh, my master, we indeed came down the first time to buy food. But it came to be, when we came to the lodging place, that we opened our sacks and saw each man's silver in the mouth of his sack, our silver in its weight, and we have brought it back in our hand. And we have brought down other silver in our hands to buy food. We do not know who put our silver in our sacks. But he said, Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Yah and Yah of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. Your silver has come to me. And he brought Shimon out to them. And the man brought the men into Yosef's house and gave them water and they washed their feet. And he gave their donkey's father. And they made the present ready for Yosef's coming at noon for they heard that they were to eat there. And when Yosef came home, they brought him the present, which was in their hand, into the house, and bowed down before him to the earth. And he asked them about the welfare, and said, Is your father well, the old man whom you speak? Is he still alive? And they said, Your servant, our father is in good health, he is still alive. And they bowed their heads down and did obeisance. And he lifted his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, is this, your yo- is this your younger brother of whom you speak to me? And he said, Yah show favor to you, my son. And Yosef hurried, for his emotions were deeply towards his brother, 
and he looked for a place to weep, and went into his room and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out and controlled himself and said, Serve the food. And they set him a place by himself, and them by themselves, and the Mitzrites who ate with them by themselves. For the Mitzrites could not eat with the Hebrews, for it is an abomination to the Mitzrites. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men looked at each other in astonishment, and he took portions to them from before him. But Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs, and they feasted and they drank with him.